Welcome everybody to my presentation of the paper Meeting the Requirements of Industrial Production with a versatile multi-sensor platform based on 5G communication. My name is Sarah Schmidt and I am from Fraunhofer IPT and this, was, this paper was written together with our partners from MAPOS. In the following, I want to give you an overview of the concept and design of our multi-sensor platform and I will start with the motivation behind it. The factory of the future confronts us with a lot of challenges and requirements. There are more and more demanding processes and the wish for individualized products. For optimization and understanding of the processes, we need real-time monitoring and an all-embracing documentation of the production for, for example, a digital twin. There is a need to be able to handle dynamic configuration changes and to fulfill the vision of a digital transformation for industry and to have highly efficient, connected and flexible factories of the future. This also includes to have a perfect match between sensors, communication and computation modules. There are already solutions and technologies in the industrial world that try to make this vision reality, but still all of them have the weak points. Many connections are still wired connections, mostly Ethernet or field bus protocols, and they have a limited flexibility and are sometimes even impractical. There are also wireless solutions like wireless IO link and wireless hard, for example, but all of them need to be more flexible and also more sensor diverse. Well-known wireless standards such as Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, they don't meet reliability requirements and also not re reducible latency. Um, another point that inhibits flexibility and simple management are the point-to-point -point connections. And concerning actual sensors, they are mostly separated standalone systems, which means we have additional effort to route data to centralized computation services and interoperability between machines is restricted. Current multi-sensor platforms that we are aware of focus only on one certain application and have a limited real-time capability. And at least the existing infrastructures mostly are unable to support the demanded network density and also concerning a whole um, bunch of a lot of internet connectivity between many of machines, they cannot handle it at the moment. So to overcome those current weak points and to meet the requirements of industry and production, we have come up with the following objectives for our multi-sensor platform. Our multi-sensor platform needs to have a wireless connection to be flexible. It has to have a modular design to be customized for each process. We want to realize a real-time monitoring, so also the platform itself has to meet real-time requirements. For industrial solutions, we want to have it flexible and scalable, so in combination, for example, with an edge cloud. And we want to realize a centralized device management that simplifies maintenance such as software upgrades. So, but where could we use such a platform? Such a multi-sensor platform or MSP could be used at different places at the shop floor. Multiple machines and work pieces as well as the infrastructure itself could be equipped with a multi-sensor platform, connect via 5G to a factory cloud, where then the measured data can be processed and stored. Also, there will be a feedback that generated from the factory cloud, cloud to machine communication for um, machine control and um, over 5G, the configuration data for the sensors. So we want to envision a fine grained system of widespread sensors and transducers, um, which um, collects the heterogeneous data on a shop floor, transfers it via 5G into a factory cloud. Of course, that's no easy task and we have a lot of challenges to face. As I just mentioned, um, there are a lot of heterogeneous data on a shop floor that has to be fused into one model to get, for example, the digital twin. 5G provides a reliable and scalable network that allows us to integrate all the data. The synchronization of the data streams is also very important um, because we have heterogeneous data all with its own time clock and 5G is here also the game player which provides us coherent timing and the timestamp on all the data sets. The whole communication architecture itself has to be um, optimized for real-time control, which means that also already the sensor platform has a real-time capable. And at least 
we want to realize centralized device management. So that means we have to provide configuration, reconfiguration, recon firmware updates, enabling and disabling sensors. For our multi-sensor platform, we aim therefore for a three steps approach, digitalize, delegate and dispatch. Digitalize means that each physical quantity will be as soon as possible turned into a digital information. But here we have a trade-off between using the raw data, what allows for flexibility, um, but increases the energy consumption because we have a high data flow over the 5G link. If we try to reduce this data flow, for example, with pre-processing on a core, that could be affect the latency. So we decided that this trade-off should be left as tunable configuration. Delegate, the second step, means that the data stream is um, transmitted to, is, is, uh, is brought to the factory cloud so that we can um, fully uh, exploit the flexibility and scalability of software services. This patch means that the factory cloud itself is not the endpoint. A feedback is generated so that machines can be controlled and sensors could be configured. Considering those three steps, the system has to look like the following. We have an embedded device on the shop floor, we have the 5G link for real-time transmission, and we have the factory cloud. Looking at the MSP, this leads to the following design. In the middle, we have the local processing core, which can be updated and configured from the factory cloud. Left in orange, we have the sensors, the field sensors, which can be different, uh, which can have different implementations um, depending on what physical quantity we want to measure. And then we have the 5G modem, which transmits the data to the factory cloud. 5G modem and local processing core are reusable units and feed sensors are adaptable units. And since we are in a shop floor environment, each unit is a rock proof proof water device, so it confidently can operate in the workshop environment. The processing core itself has a trade-off between compactness and low energy consumption and power and versatility. But uh, for sure it has to be a high performance embedded microcontroller. It has interfaces to the field sensors on one hand and to the 5G modem on the other. For the field sensors we will use interface buses like SPI or I2C and for the 5G modem, we have a USB or Ethernet connection. The field sensors itself are digital transducers or based on digital integrated semiconductors. And they have only one interface for data, power and control path. They have an auto discovery functionality, which means that they can be automatically found by the centralized device management. So you know which sensors actually um, plugged in. On the other side, we thought about internal and external sensors, external sensors for monitoring the process and um, internal sensors like environmental sensors that are integrated in the embedded device itself so that we can monitor the multi-sensor platform's condition. The 5G modem is expected to be integrated in the embedded device, but could also be um, an external connection in terms that the conditions are incompatible with electromagnetic propagation. And the 5G modem um, provides a time synchronization so that the information streams can be correlated during the processing. Talking about wireless transmission of data, we have to consider power supply. There are two possibilities, primary batteries and secondary batteries. So for primary batteries, um, primary batteries um, need to be swapped and secondary batteries um, need to be charged. So for primary batteries, we need an opening that challenges the requirement of each comment ha having to be waterproofed. And it is time consuming always to replace them. Secondary batteries could either be charged by a contact connection or over wireless power. For a contact connection, we need IP grade for wireless power, um, we will need an electromagnetic opening. From a product design perspective, both variants could coexist to each other, either the disposable or rechargeable batteries, each suitable for one different specific application. 
So we have the embedded device on the shop floor and um, to complete the three steps approach, we now include the 5G link and the factory cloud in our system. 5G gives us an end-to-end -end latency of few milliseconds and a high reliability. It is bidirectional, that means we can not only bring data up into the cloud, we can also send data back like configuration data to the sensors. And 5G has the capability of connecting, connecting a large number of devices. So if you think about many multi-sensor platforms in the shop floor, we have a very huge sensor network. The factory cloud shifts tasks from the embedded device towards very high performing processing servers and is um, the central coordination system. So all in all, the multi-sensor platform device combines an embedded device on the shop floor, communication via 5G, also to profit from low latency features, and the local computation capabilities in form of the factory cloud. It is an adaptable and flexible system, also due to its modular design that can be customized for each process. It has the features of time synchronization and, um, and provides a centralized management system. That means providing connectivity for different sources and it facilitates the routing of data to computational services. All in all, we create with the multi-sensor platform a powerful tool for high performance processing and workpiece monitoring, a perfect match between sensors, communication and computation modules. I will thank you for your attention and just want to mention that this work has been performed in the framework of two projects, the projects 5G Smart from the age 2020, co-founded by the EU, and the project 5G Sense Pro, which is funded by the European Regional Development Fund. At least here are the references that were taken for the paper. Thank you very much.